to my channel Flutter Coding 101. So today we're going to see how to upload a Flutter project to GitHub repository. So there are a few steps that you need to do to uh, push your first pro uh, Flutter project or any Flutter project that you have to your GitHub repository. So these are the steps that you need to follow. So first step is that you need to create a GitHub repository. So here I have come to my GitHub repository. There's a plus symbol over here. I will click on this. I will click on new repository. You will be naming your repository. I will be naming it Flutter to GitHub. Now it is checking the availability. Flutter to GitHub is available. You can add any description if you want. So I'll just add Flutter to GitHub project. You can keep it public or private. Um, I am keeping it public as of now, but if you want to keep it private, uh, if you do not want anyone to see your repository, you can share these links with people and you can share the access so they will have access to your repository. Uh, the readme file is basically, uh, it uh, carries the description of what uh, you do in your project, what your project is about. So you can add a readme file if you like. And that's it, I will create the repository now. Once my repository is created, I will copy the link to this repository. Now I will be switching to my uh, Flutter project. Uh, so this is my Flutter project. I have created a new Flutter project. So the second step that you need to do is, uh, you need to initialize git with the command um, git init, okay? So here in my Flutter project, I am initializing my git. So it is showing that it has initialized an empty git repository. After this, you need to uh, run the command git add dot. So what this does is it adds all the files in your empty git uh, repository that you just created. Uh, so once I've added all these files, I will be, um, you can see over here, this is the source control for git. So you can just write a commit message. So since this is my first commit, I will be writing the message first commit or you can also use initial commit or a message, whichever you like. Um, so, or you can also uh, run the command um, git commit minus m and the command which you have for your commit. So, uh, once this is done, you will be using the command um, add origin and the URL that you had copied. Once you have done this, you will be pushing. This is your fifth, sixth command. That is, you will push it uh, and you will set your origin to master. So git push set upstream origin master. As you can see, it is pushing all the files to flutter to github.git. Now, once you have done this and then you make some changes in your file, for example, if I make a change to my main.dat, um, like if I change the name of my title, it will show the small m, which means that my file has been modified and it will also show over here what changes have been done in the source control tab. Once I can see, I can see those changes, now I will I can either discard those changes, I can state those changes. Now I will write a commit message. So um, main dot dot file changes, or you can uh, name it according to a bug or a Jira ticket, and I will commit it. So before doing this, I will add them, I will commit it, sync the changes. And now you can see the changes have been pushed to my branch. So that's it about pushing your first Flutter project to GitHub. Uh, please keep watching my videos and let me know how you like them. And uh, please do like, subscribe and share my channel if you like it. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video.